This new wave of Russian violence comes in the wake of what Vladimir Putin calls terrorist acts carried out against his country by Ukrainian forces. NBC's chief international correspondent, Keir Simmons, is in Moscow for us this morning once again. Keir, good morning. Craig, good morning to you. This morning, President Putin says Russia is targeting energy, communication and military facilities in Ukraine. And he is threatening further, quote, harsh responses if, it's, if, if what he says are terrorist attacks by Ukraine on Russian territory continue. Russia's promised revenge coming this morning with those rocket attacks on major Ukrainian cities, striking back after another setback. In the past hour, the Russian leader on television calling the attacks retaliation. Last night, President Putin branding this explosion on his prized bridge between Russia and Crimea, a terrorist attack on civilian infrastructure. The bridge, a crucial military supply line and symbol of Russian strength, quickly reopened but the destruction in plain sight. While Ukraine has not publicly admitted responsibility, Russia is blaming Ukrainian special forces for the explosion that happened almost exactly midway across the bridge just after 6 a.m. Saturday. The Russians say this truck carrying fertilizer was the epicenter of the blast. On a parallel rail bridge, a locomotive filled with fuel tanks also caught fire. While some explosives experts think the detonation was under the bridge, Last month, Russian media reported an unmanned Ukrainian drone boat capable of attacks from the sea washed up on a Crimean beach. Russian bloggers, loyal to President Putin, now openly criticizing his military. The enemy has stopped being afraid, one said this weekend. Another, hammer Ukraine into the 18th century. Demands for escalation just days after President Biden warned of the prospect of Armageddon. Here in Moscow, under a statue of a Russian revolutionary, the anxiousness is palpable. Do you find the ch atmosphere has changed in Moscow? Yes, a oh. lot. The atmosphere extremely has extremely changed. Why? Uh, people are worried about the situation in the in the city and in the country. And Craig, all through the weekend, Russian television showed pictures of that damaged bridge and the explosion. Craig, I have not seen coverage here like that since February. President Putin is under more pressure now than he's been in his 20 years of leadership. Craig? Our chief international correspondent in Moscow for us. Kier, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.